Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunnah of Perfecting the Rose in Prayer Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Insha'Allah ta'ala, the sunnah that we will be touching on in this video is a great and important sunnah that Islam pays a great deal of attention to. And it is the sunnah in regard to straightening the rows when in prayer. Hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said along the lines of these words. Straighten your rows for straightening of the rows is part of perfecting the prayer. And in another narration, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Straighten your rows for straightening of the rows is part of establishing the prayer. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to touch the shoulders of the Sahaba radiallahu anhu ta'ala alayhi wa jama'een when they were about to pray and he would say, Make your rows straight and do not differ, lest your hearts differ. Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu anhu is reported to have said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to straighten the rows like straightening the shaft of an arrow. Allahu Akbar. Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out to pray and he was about to say the takbir, he was about to say Allahu Akbar. When he noticed a man whose chest was protruding, whose chest was a bit forward in the row, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam immediately said, O slaves of Allah, make your rows straight or Allah will cause discord or Allah will place discord in your hearts. Imam al-Nawawi rahimahullah is reported to have said in regard to the phrase that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to straighten the rows like the shaft of an arrow. In other words, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to pay a great deal of attention in regard to straightening the rows as much as possible. Allahu Akbar. And in another narration, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Make your rows straight, make your shoulders parallel and let there be no gaps for the devil. So from all of these narrations, the scholars rahimahumullah explain that it is of utmost importance that we straighten our rows as much as possible and that we fill in the gaps too. Because the minute there is a gap in between the rows, the devil seizes the opportunity to wriggle in between like a little lamb and disturb us when we are in prayer. No wonder today we see that many of us, we are disturbed in salah. We have different thoughts in salah. We think about different things in salah. We remember things that we have forgotten only when we enter salah. All of this is because of the devil slipping in between the gaps that we left and disturbing us when we are in salah. Therefore, let us do our level best in terms of straightening the rows and filling up the gaps. There are two important aspects that I wish to highlight. Number one is that we should take heed that we complete one row and then move to the next. Because sadly, today we see people in the masajid that they have favorite spots in the masajid. Perhaps because it is right under the fan or right next to the air conditioning unit perhaps, or maybe it's because it's by a window. And due to them having these favorite spots, they're not ready to move to the row that is in front of them, nor are they willing to fill up the gaps. By this, we are once again risking the, the, the chance of the devil slipping in between the gaps and disturbing us when we are in salah. The second point is that we should straighten our rows based by our heels and not by our toes. Because when we look at our feet, at times we have got we are individuals with d different sizes of feet and different sizes of toes. But when we base it by our heels, then the row will be beautiful, straight and parallel. So therefore, let us strive in terms of straightening the rows. We should straighten the rows in such a way that we help the brother who is next to us to, to straighten it in a very parallel manner in accordance with the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us revive and act upon this great and noble sunnah 
thereby barricading any possible way that the devil may use to enter and disturb us when we are in Salah. And also so that we remain united and strong as one Muslim Ummah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For after all, united we stand, divided we fall. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alam. Support the da'wah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.